Remember, enjoy it. It's good exercise. <laughs> Stand your bar up. So keep them standing up. Good exercise. <laughs> cool. I don't know what else to say. G'day, my name's Walters. G'day, my name's Steve Walters, and this is the Contractor's Guide to Rural Fencing. Today, we're going back to real cool basic stuff. Not basic in a way that it's boring, but basic in it's, this is how most people start fencing. We've got to dig a hole, and we're digging it by hand to put a post in. Now, back in Tamworth, obviously, at the factory, we've got all the gear, and geez, I haven't dug a hole for ages. But there's a few really interesting techniques that we've picked up over the years because when I started, we used to do it by hand. Um, and I can show those and share those with you today. Oh, crowbar. <laughs> now, if you have a look at the point, it's actually got a bend in it. So that's pretty unusual. I haven't seen any other commercial ones with a bend in them. This is an old one. From back at home you can see we've been doing a bit of concreting with it it really needs a tip drawing out that's that's had way too much usage so i'm looking for a blacksmith to draw that out for me when you get down towards the bottom of the hole with a straight bar it's really hard to break out that edge of your hole whereas with a band you can actually lever it against if you can imagine this is the side of your hole you can go in hard on the side and then that, use that point to lever, and this bit is all free of the hole. So this bar works super well once you're beyond sort of 600 deep, two foot deep. If you need to dig a hole really deep or clean out a hole around the base, a bend like this is awesome. So a blacksmith can do that. This is actually just a piece of, I think it's an old shaft out of an axle that we got made up. The other end's just got a point, which again needs drawing out. But yeah, this is a digging bar. It's quite heavy, but it's awesome for levering out the side of the hole and getting rid of rocks. So unlike a, a post hole, I've actually created a square hole because that works easier for the shovel to clean out if you're digging one manually. So the first thing you do is right in the middle, you just sort of work the bar around and you actually break out the middle, sort of got to get in the right spot, lever that away. Yeah, I've got a little bit of a piece broken out right in the middle. And then you work in towards the corners. So now you can see how this bar is working really well. If I want to break this side out, I can go in close. That's the normal way. But then turn the bar around and jam it right in there. And you see how that just leave is that right out at the bottom so it works fantastically for keeping your hole square tip number three stand your bar up if that bar's laying down in summer it's going to get stinking hot and in winter it'll freeze to the ground so keep them standing up tip number four when you're using a shovel like this and you're getting down to the bottom of the hole, and I'll demonstrate now. So this, this side is straight down. It's still a very straight lip with that shovel. What I've done on this side, is you can see, I've just taken the shovel and the bar, and you cut a little notch there, so that when you go in, you can see now that that shovel is at a lot better angle to get the dirt out of the hole. So the deeper you go, the bigger you want to make that little sort of recess. So if you do that on the side of your hole, it really helps when you're getting down deeper to get the dirt out. So you can see how that shovel just sits in there and enables me to bring out a full load each time. Make sure you keep the hole straight all the way down. If you have a tapered hole, it can help jack out a post if you concrete it in. If you're concreting post in and there's going to be some upward lift on it, then the best way to achieve that post staying where you put it is to actually undercut right at the bottom of the hole. So with that bar, now I've, I've kept this hole straight because I'm just ramming it back in with dirt, but what you can do is sort of 
undercut to give you a bit of a bell right at the bottom of the concrete and that will stop that post lifting. So in conclusion, there's a couple of tips there, five hot tips for digging a hole by hand. Uh, your choice of shovel, but you can take those edges off, which will give you a shovel that doesn't jag on the hole as you're cleaning it out. Make sure your bars are sharpened or drawn out by a blacksmith. Tip number three, go for the bendy if you're digging a deep hole. Tip number four, is this cutout will help you get down into the bottom of the hole a lot more easily. And tip number five, if you're concreting, put a little bell on the bottom of your hole to stop it lifting. Remember, enjoy it, it's good exercise. <laughs> Stand your bar up, so keep them standing up. Stand your bar up.